Hey, what's going on, guys? Breck is back again. Just want to bring another discussion for you guys. I just wanted to make a quick response video to the video that ABC News posted today. It's called Sneakerheads Inside the World of High Stakes Sneaker Trading and Reselling, of course. It just talks about today's sneaker game, how people get their sneakers. Hopefully, this will never become Canada. I've never heard of most of this news about Canada. It's a lot crazier in the States. Money's gotta be the shoes! It all started with Michael Jordan, when Nike convinced us Air Jordans could make us fly. Having them on your feet was a status symbol. I remember back in high school, I don't think anybody cared about shoes. Like, when I looked on the ground, everybody just wore generic shoes or runners or whatever. I rarely see anybody wearing Jordans, or especially retro Jordans. Maybe some team Jordans walking around the school or the hallways. The thing that really bugs me is that the kids who are buying these shoes aren't even earning their own money. They're begging their parents for $200 to $300 shoes. They should be earning their own money or they shouldn't be getting the shoes at all. To some, worth whatever price it took, including murder. In 1989, one boy was strangled for his Jordans. Another one was shot. The story hit the cover of This is just really, really sad to hear. I hope Canada will never become this way. I know the states are a big influence on us, but this is one thing definitely not to copy. Demand got out of control. Kids were camping out in front of shoe stores. Much like this episode of HBO's Entourage. I don't get it. All these people online for sneakers? Oh yeah, some of them probably even camped out all night for sneakers. Vince, these ain't just sneakers. These are limited edition Fukijamas. Fuki what is? In some cities, they were breaking down doors, rioting. Some were even arrested. If someone gets hurt in front of a Nike store, you're going to blame Nike. Unfortunately, Nike does not ship internationally. That's why I got to stick with sites like East Bay, Foot Locker, and Champs, but they're all essentially the same site. Also, look on Kicks Deals, look on UK sites, anything that ships internationally without too much of an excessive customs charge, I will take a look on those sites. Important things that can happen for the shoe game is for kids to say, I'm not going to let you charge me too much for these shoes. That will never happen. But that's what has to happen. You got to draw the line somewhere and have a maximum budget towards buying shoes. If you can't buy it, don't buy it. It's just always some crazy hype for something that's coming out on Saturday. And then you know what happens? Next Saturday comes. There's just sometimes too many shoes coming out. Sometimes you just gotta step back, take a look at what you love the most. 